day even so less romance in your stance oh man take off your pants cancel your plans i understand you want a man to be your friend you need hey guys welcome back to my channel how are you before i get into this video i would just like to say for those of you watching thank you for watching this video is definitely not going to be too long because I just turned off my AC so that the sound isn't blowing through the cameras and I'm getting hot. So I'm just going to be giving you guys a review on this hair, this wig. It's a 360 lace wig from a company called China Lace Wig. China Lace Wig. China Lace Wig. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. This is a 22 inch Brazilian body wave, 360 frontal, the whole nine yards wig. It is 100% virgin hair and it also comes in 200% density. This right here is 200% density. So uh, when you're talking about density, when it comes to bundles and wigs, you talk about how thick the hair is, how much strands they're giving you into this hair, like how thick it is a lot of companies range between 100 to like a fit 150 so for this to be 200 that means the density is really really thick so when you go on the, their website to purchase wigs or hair they let you choose everything you get to choose the, the cap size whether it be 21 22 23 inch the lace color whether it's dark light or transparent and also most importantly the length so this is 22 inches I never really go this long when it comes to hair most mostly I stay 20 and above so like having like long hair right now is kind of like surprising me a little bit it's something that I'm not used to seeing and I feel like I look like a freaking mermaid today <laughs> comment below if I look like freaking the black Ariel or Ariel and Princess Tiana mixed together with this hair so inside the wig the wig comes with a front lace for the frontal a back lace for the back of the head for the 360 I didn't really customize the back because I don't really want to do the whole 360 thing I'm still kind of getting used to that so I kind of left it how it was it came with four combs three at the top one at the bottom I cut out three of the combs and left the bottom one just because it was a 360 I can just hook it onto the back of my head so it is not a full lace wig the middle part isn't like a lace I can show you guys like there's tracks on the middle of the head so if the lace area is only in the front frontal area and in the back portion with the 360 and it's only honestly like a small portion of the back so let's get into how I styled the wig I plucked the frontal to make it look more natural it was already pre plucked I just put that in mind it already came with bleach knots and it came pre-plugged but I plucked it a little more to fit with my hairline so I did that all before washing it once I washed it I came back and I did like some type of like kind of like a Dominican roller set as you would say so I like rolled everything up in rollers and put it under this portable dryer that I have I wouldn't recommend you guys buying this dryer because you can't use it on your own head it's something you put on top of your head and you stick a blow dryer through the tube and the blow dryer is what makes it hot and goes um into your head but i swear you guys like on my head when i use it on my head like i feel like my brain is about to melt off like it is so hot in there so i do not recommend i'm not recommending this product for anybody so i'm not even gonna discuss it i just put it basically on my wig stand and on the wig cap so it dried everything out set everything and then once i took the rollers out i was able to get that bouncy kind of fluffy feel in the hair so I wasn't done styling after that I did take a curling iron from Conair and then just created some little curls in it as you can see what I have now to give it like a nice little wave and I also cut some layers into the hair as well because I did not want like super super long like all the way long straight hair like I wanted something framing my face up in here and that's basically how I styled the wig I also forgot to lay down the top of it I you always use a hot comb and this is not the hot comb you put on the stove and let like burn because those things burn off your hair like nothing 
I did the one you just plug it in turn it on it's it was pretty cheap out of a beauty supply store I just used it on the top areas of my, of my roots to keep it flat and therefore making it look more natural so let's get into the pros and the cons of this wig which one should I start with I don't know like should I start with pros or cons you know what? I'm gonna start with the cons first I'm gonna start with the cons first because I, I don't want to leave <laughs> this video off on a negative note so I'm gonna start with the in negatives first and then move on to the pros after so cons the packaging could have been better i don't think i recorded the packaging but it kind of came in like uh it looked like beauty supply store hair packaging and it was all smushed kind of like the cardboard was kind of smushed in another con this hair did have um some dry ends <laughs> it did have some dry ends um, and some split ends so I had to I did cut like an inch off of this before applying the hair just to get rid of those dry ends and I also used that serum that I spoke about earlier to kind of like help moisturize them a little bit so they don't look as bad but the ends and the tips weren't something that I was exactly another thing this hair does shed more than I would like it to it honestly does I washed this hair in my tub alone and there were strands of hair like big strands of hair in the tub like i'm not really used to seeing that anymore like even with a lot of aliexpress brands i'm not even used to seeing when i first get it that many that much strands um i can show you guys like all the strands that i had these are the strands that i got when i brushed it after i washed it so when after i washed it i brushed it all the way through with a weed brush and that's the amount of shedding i got from that alone which is just too much to what i'm used to it's not terrible but it's it's not something i like it's like i put my fingers through it and i get you guys can't see from here but i get already get strands of hair like i can't even touch it without hair coming down and i'm wondering if that has something to do with the density of it like maybe because it is a lot of hair a lot of hair is going to come out but i don't think about it i'm not exactly sure i don't think so so that's something i definitely want i'd say the company itself <laughs> should work on definitely not should not have this much shedding with the hair so it's not excessive like don't get me wrong it's nothing crazy it's not like you're gonna be getting balls of hair every second but it is more than it should be for brand new hair that i've never used you know what i'm saying and that makes me kind of almost regret plucking it for if you're a new wig wearer i recommend don't even customize it just let it be on its own and maybe cut some baby hairs in and then put it on because it's like after like, i didn't pluck too much but i feel like plucking it is going to make the shedding even worse if it's like this first starting out so now let's get into the pros the happy part the good specs of this hair you guys so pro number one i like the wig construction i actually do like the wig construction it's very secure very comfortable it's nothing i had to customize when it came to the lace it's on everything i cut the lace off and it fit perfectly onto my head um, when it came to gluing everything down, that's one thing. Kind of similar to how I felt about um, the company, my first wigs, wigs. Like, I didn't really have to cut any lace off or extra lace to get it to match to my head. So, that's what I was saying about the construction. I think it's really nice and really easy for new beginners when it comes to wigs. Pro number two, it's really easy to customize and curl. No, no issues when it came to curling the hair, customizing the hair. I actually curled this yesterday. And I left it to come back to it and install it today, and they stayed. Like, the curls stayed perfect from then. It's not stiff either. It's very, actually very, 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 like, bouncy hair. Um, the next pro I'd like to say, the pricing. So, normally full lace wigs retail for about $400. So, $400 to $500. A full 360 Brazilian virgin hair from other companies would be about $500. For this one, with this length, it's... 200 um you are paying a cheaper price for something that could be way more expensive so that's why i'm not really getting on them about the shedding oh my god somebody outside is honking their horn like crazy so if you hear that i'm sorry like i can't i can't i can't get rid of it i can't there's nothing i can do it is nothing i can do so guys comment below if you guys want to see some more tutorials on how i apply my wigs and how i style them because i don't really get into much detail about that i just tell you what i do i don't really say anything about the house and things like that so if you guys want video tutorials just please let me know and i'll be glad to put them up i just need more like more of you guys 
telling me what you need. Like, tell me what you need, you guys, and I will hook y'all up. Okay? <laughs> Alright. So, below will be the links to the hair, the hair company, and coupon codes and discounts in my description box. So, don't forget to check down there as well. Comment below if you guys have any more questions about the hair, how it looks, what you guys think. Don't forget once again to thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel. This is Amberlea Moore, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!